Good morning, everybody. Just thought I'd do a quick little video of my morning routine. It is now 6.30 in the morning. On Monday, and it is nasty outside again. Anywho, I just take some micellar water and go over my oily face because when I wake up, Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am so oily, but I have dry skin, so I don't understand. It must be from my new moisturizer or something that I'm using. But anyway, it's nice. At least I don't have too dry of skin. I don't know how to explain that any other way. So anyway, I wipe my face down with that and get all that nighttime cream and stuff off. Then I use my L'Oreal... Hydra Fresh toner. I love that stuff and it smells good. Anyway, and I'm trying out the Origins Ginseng line and I got these little samples from Sephora and they have lasted almost two weeks now and it's just these little paint pots, you know. And I do the eye cream, the anti-aging serum, the moisturizer, and the facial cleanse. And um, of course I did the facial cleanse last night and I probably should have done that this morning. But I didn't. <laughs> I just woke up and wiped off, I guess. Anyway, so I'm going to go in now with the serum. Y'all, this stuff smells so good. It smells like oranges. But anyway, I just put some of that on. So, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know I did. It was not an ugly weekend. Surprisingly, it was supposed to rain all weekend, but it didn't. It only takes a little bit of that stuff, you guys. That origin, I will be purchasing this. I just wanted to use up my samples first, I guess. I'm gonna do my little eye cream if I can get it open. My cat is outside chasing something, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was looking that way. Anyway, this is my under eye cream. Mm, that stuff smells so good and it feels good. It wakes your eyes up. It just like, pew. hello skin. It also is a de-puffer. I hope my camera lasts. My phone for some reason has been acting a fool. And then I moisturize. serum <laughs> like I said it don't take a lot of that stuff at all oh man that feels great it was just like I don't know it's their energy line with ginseng and it does just kind of wake up your skin it makes me feel fresh and ready to go for the day All right, if you guys can hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I was scared my camera was going to run out of time or memory, whatever that is, <laughs> on my phone. So, anyway, today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I almost screwed up. Y'all saw that? I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to put on my damn primer. <laughs> Get it together, Candy. Calm down. Anyway, this is Too Faced. Hangover. I love this. It is absolutely great. It covers all them lines. And them pores. Oh my God, girls. Down here by my mouth from being a smoker. Yes. I know. Y'all are going to complain and get on to me because my mother's fighting stage 4 lung cancer that has spread through her body. And here I am smoking. I know, believe y'all, or me, y'all, that I am my own worst critic. So I do know what I'm doing is wrong. But believe it or not, my mother had quit smoking for years before she got cancer. Um, there's just, 
I just don't believe it's all contributed to smoking, but that's just my belief. I don't think I'm helping it by preventing it or anything like that, but I don't think that's all that. All right, I'm going to let this primer sit in for just a moment, and then I'll get right back to you so my camera doesn't shut off on me. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. Now I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. <laughs> oh, man. About screwed up everything. I like this stuff a lot. About out, so I need to go make a trip to Sephora. My closest Sephora is um, about 30 minutes away. Not bad. I just hate driving in Birmingham traffic. Ugh. It's awful. Okay, and I just put that in. So anyway, I know I'm just getting this channel started and I don't think it's all going to be on makeup because Lord knows I am no makeup artist. Heck no. I just like makeup. But, um... I'm not sure what to do my channel on, so if y'all have any ideas or suggestions, please leave those in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I'm just a likable person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to. And if you don't like what I have to say or my videos, just don't watch. It's that simple. Nobody's twisting your arm to be here, I promise. Alright, and then I'm going to move on to my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. These two products just go good together and they look natural and they're not heavy on my skin. And like I said, I love makeup. I just don't want to feel it on me. You know what I mean? Like, I know that sounds crazy. I just don't want to feel the mask of it. And I really, I don't highlight with it. I just put it where I have dark circles and some red spots. And this is where I had one of those piercings. That didn't last long. I've been pierced from head to toe. And that one there, I just didn't like it. And it really messed with my teeth a lot. I don't know if they put it too low or what went on with it, but... It just didn't work out. And honestly, I just didn't look right with it, I guess. My husband didn't like it either. And he does tattoos and he pierced my lip for me and all that. And I just, it, it didn't work out. Anyway, all right, I'm going to set that under eye with my e.l.f under eye powder. I like this stuff. It's great. It's the only one I found for under my eyes that really works. Um, and I've tried the Too Faced setting powder because I love Too Faced. But um, I just, just now got into the higher end makeup. I'm such a drugstore girl. I love drugstore makeup. And why do I need to spend high dollar when I can find the pretty much the same stuff in the drugstore, you know? And honestly, the Urban Decay Naked Skin, I've got the Revlon Barely Naked, or Nearly Naked, I think it is. Girls, it's the same stuff. Honestly, same stuff. So, I don't know. I, I know I have that, and I don't have the Urban Decay, and I really do want the Urban Decay, because it would be my first high-end foundation to to purchase myself and um i have the means to do it so why not um that's how i see it anyway i let that set and then i'm going to take my milani prep set and glow illuminating transparent powder this stuff is pretty good for a pressed powder yeah leaves me looking great all day I don't have to really go back in there and reset everything it just 
kind of sets it in there. I know this lighting is horrible, and I probably look like a ghost on there, but... Just wipe off that excess. I get real oily on my chin. Since I've been moisturizing real good, I get real oily right in this area. Don't get it. Okay, for bronzer, I'm trying to hurry because this is already 10 minutes. I used the number seven in golden sand. Um, Jessica Braun, man, that's a good chick to watch for some makeup ideas. She raves about this stuff. And so does Tati sometimes when she's not high dollar in it, you know. Anyway, I just like to bronze up my skin, you know. Bring some color back into life here, girls. Like I said, just a little goes a long way for me because I don't like heavy makeup. I just don't want to feel it. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> I know it does, but sometimes less is more. I'm going to use my Butter Blush by Physician's Formula. I've got two of these in... This one here seems to look a little more natural and it actually shows up on the skin a little better. The other one don't come through as much. It really don't. This is in the shade Vintage Rouge. And I like that a lot. Looks like this. And y'all remember, I'm blind. I'm blind! Anyway, hey, I got this new stuff, and I was trying it out. It's the All May Instant Glow. I'll be right back, guys. Anyway, All May Instant Glow. You got the liquid on this side and the stick on this side. Love this stuff because it's natural looking. It don't bling. I don't look like Jeffree Star, y'all. <laughs> you know he loves his highlighter. Anyway, the girl at Sephora told me, don't go in all them wrinkles. You're going to regret it. So... She put it right there above my blush. And then I just blend that in. Hang on just a second. Y'all know I'm blind. I got to look, make sure. I don't have that white strip. <laughs> my husband. Man, is crazy. See? I guess I didn't blend that well that day. <laughs> no, I was using uh, that new um, Master Chrome. And, ooh, you talk about highlight, that's a highlight. Anyway, when I blend that in, I just go right above my eyebrows and my eyebrow bone. Down that nose. See, just natural. Anyway. um, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Milani eyeshadow primer. I tried concealer on my eyes yesterday. Mistake. Total. An awful mistake. It creased so bad on my eyelids. My eyeshadow looked like crap. I ended up taking it off 30 minutes after I put it on. That's how bad it creased up. And that ain't never happened to me with this. Ever. All right, today I'm using my Melissa Michelle from Ulta. I love this. It has everything you need in there. But the colors are beautiful. And the formula for those, it's very, very soft. And I love the matte shades. Bing Bing and Rosemary, I have to say, are my favorite. With a little bit of Wheezy. <laughs> that Wheezy is what I use to um, set my primer. And I just wipe that all over using my real techniques. What is this? Crease brush. I just set it on in there with that. And it does a fine job. I got some Morphe brushes on the way. I can't wait. I was going to get the Jaclyn Hill. But you know what? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll never use all them brushes. Why am I going to pay that much money? So anyway, not doing that. 
Just going for a little natural look today, ladies. So I'm going to put rosemary in my crease. And y'all know I got hooded eyes, so I have to go right above that crease. Concentrate most of that over here in the corner where I want it the darkest. I am so blind, I hope. <laughs> okay, I got a mirror sitting here. Hopefully y'all ain't seeing that too. I'm trying to do this, y'all. I'm trying. If my camera does cut off, I will do a part two and finish up. I'm so sorry. Okay. Then I'm going to take um, Lola and put that right down on my lid. If I could find my daggum brush. There it is. I'm just going to put it right down on my lid. It ain't much, but it's enough. Just to give me a little bit of life. A little bit of life. And I like to take it also and go up under my brow bone. I do them eyebrows. Mm. Child. Man or mighty. See, I have thinning eyebrows. I don't know why. I used to have Brooke Shields eyebrows, everybody. Beautiful eyebrows. What the hell happened? Age. Age. And we all gonna do it, so I might as well just get over it. Anyway, and that's it on that. It on the eyes, except for my eyeliner and mascara. I'm gonna put that on, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So, I had to do that off camera because I will poke myself. I'm blind, I can't see. But anyway, I used the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black on my top. <laughs> I use my Rimmel Scandalized in Nude on my waterline. Try to open them up. Use my Voluminous, Voluminous, I can't say that. Lash Paradise. Love this mascara. Love it. One coat makes my eyelashes look longer and I'm thinning on them too. And then I use my Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil for my brows. No pro at it. I promise you that. Anyway, um, and today I'm going to use... Hmm. Let's use the Wet n Wild Cat Suit in Rebel Rose. I like that stuff. Y'all, I, I, I don't get into drama on this and everything, but I did get caught up the other night in a, um, in a live stream because, like I said, my mother is fighting stage 4 lung cancer, and it's bad. It spread through her body. She went into remission. It, okay. She was diagnosed with lung cancer, not this past January, but the January before. She went into remission, and it come back with a vengeance. And it is now, oh, that was my Milani set. Make it last. Anyway, it come back with a vengeance, and it is now spread. It is in her rib cage. It is in her diaphragm. It, anyway, it's horrible, and they're doing radiation now where her MS and lupus, they first told her she could not have radiation, that it would kill her. I'm watching my mother wither away, and there is this lady going on YouTube begging for money and, and support and stuff, and um, saying she has cancer, y'all, and, and she don't have cancer. I'm not saying the lady ain't sick. It looks like she's got COPD, because that's what my mother had before they found the cancer, uh, and she had all that breathing treatment stuff and all that, and she keeps saying that she uh, lost her hair because... At the chemo, but then she ain't started chemo, and she had one chemo treatment, and it's gone now, I guess, because I don't understand, y'all. How can somebody lie about something like that when I am watching my mother die? She's dying, y'all. And, 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 and somebody can lie and, and, and say they have cancer and wish that upon themselves? 
Karma's a mmm man. And God don't like that kind of stuff. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I serve a loving God. And cancer is the devil. Y'all, I, I could go on and on about that, but I'm just not. But I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. And, yep, I got caught up in it a little bit. I sure did. Of course, nobody was listening to me. Who am I, right? But it did piss me off that somebody is going around saying they have cancer. And that they're terminal. That they're terminal, girl. Mm-mm. Nope. I ain't got time for that. Anyway, loves, I love y'all, and I hope you have a wonderful Monday. I have got to go pay some freaking bills. <sighs> Subscribe, hit the like button, stay tuned, because I'll have more, guys. I will. Thank you, and God bless you all.